All right, guys, if every time you hook up your phone, you keep getting this annoying message where it couldn't be read, blah, blah, blah. You press OK, and it tells you how to fix this. It tells you to restore it. Well, unfortunately, that's the only fix. I wish I could tell you something else. But before you do this and proceed with anything that has to do with restoration, go ahead on your phone itself, not here because it's not going to work here. Go on your phone and go into settings. Go to your settings, scroll down so you guys see general. Under general, scroll all the way down, and then you guys will see an option that says transfer or reset iPhone, and then shut down at the very end. So just going to transfer or reset iPhone, that second option. And then from there, you're gonna see an option to prepare for a new iPhone. Just press get started. That's gonna make a free backup for you on iCloud, okay? So I'm only telling you to do this if you guys don't have any iCloud space. Uh, if you're already paying for iCloud every month and you have enough space, then go ahead and make your backup there. You're, you're, you're fine. You're good to go. For those of you who are cheap like me <laughs> and don't want to play for iCloud, then that's the way because that's free iCloud space that's going to be there for 30 days. So that backup's there for 30 days and that's meant for this, to transfer your information from one phone to another. So we're doing this just in case. Regardless, just make sure you have a backup of your phone. Then what you guys wanna do is what you didn't wanna do. Click on restore iPhone. For some of you, this will work. Press restore iPhone and it's actually gonna restore it. And what will this do? Well, it's gonna bring it back to factory settings. So if your factory set, it's gonna delete everything from your phone itself. However, again, for some people, this will work. For others, it won't. So let's say it doesn't, like right now, it's not doing it. It, I'm clicking on it like crazy. Nothing happens, right? So what we've got to do is restore it to the original settings. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so on your phone itself, you're going to have to factor reset this. Um, that's because just a soft reset doesn't do it. doesn't do anything, really. So let me just show you. Go into settings, under settings. Make sure to make that backup, which I mentioned before. So you go into general. Under general, swipe all the way down. Transfer or reset phone. That's your second last option. Tap there and then press on get started. Once you tap and press get started, go ahead and continue on. Then wait for that backup to be done. Then go ahead and press erase all contents and settings. So right now we're just gonna continue. We're gonna erase this phone. And there we go. Just let it be. Come back to it up afterwards. It's gonna be factory set. So we're doing a, a huge factory set on this. Gonna delete everything from your phone and then you guys can just load everything back into it, okay? Or you can just load up new information, new information, depending. Right now, all we have to do is just wait for everything to be done. Okay, so from there, it's gonna say Apple account password. Just put your password for your iCloud, okay? That's different than your passcode to get into the phone. That's your iCloud. And they do have a video that teaches you how to reset your password for your iCloud account if you forgot it for any reason. So that's a separate video. Uh, so for now, just turn off. On the top right-hand side, you're gonna see Turn off, just tap on turn off. So sometimes you have to tap on there so many times so it actually does it, or else you would have to turn it off manually each one. All right, so from there, you would have seen this. Just swipe up, choose your language. You're pretty much setting everything up again, by the way. So we're going to go on and set it up. This is a setup. If uh, you're selling this phone or anything like that, I would just turn off the phone at this time, just let the next person set it up. But uh, anyways, we're assuming this is for you guys, so just set it up again. Now just keep going with the setup process. I'm gonna do the face ID thing. Or you can, you can just set it up later. It doesn't actually matter. So I'm just gonna set it up later actually. Uh, you do need to create a passcode. Once you create your passcode, you're finally here. So you guys can just put your information back. So we're gonna go on and from iCloud backup, we're gonna do that. Select that for your first option, put in your iCloud. All right, so once you put your iCloud password and email, you would see this, I agree to this, and then it's just gonna send you in and you're gonna be good to go. Just gonna restore everything back into it and that should fix any issues. So from here, it's gonna give us a choice of backups. Of course, we're gonna do the one that we did today. So I think the longest part about this whole process will be when you have to download the apps again. So we're gonna go on and continue. It's gonna bring everything back how it was. So I had it with a done. Uh, then it's gonna ask you share the stuff with, if you guys want to share, if you guys don't want to share, don't share. I always share with Apple.
All right, so once you just went through all those screens, you guys would just set up as you want to set things up, or you guys can just set them up later. Just restore from iCloud, because that's the longest part that this takes. So go on and just wait for it. It's gonna restore everything back to your phone, and then you're gonna be done. It's gonna be that easy. It will take quite a while for those of you who have a bunch of stuff, a bunch of gigs. For those of you with less gigs, it would take less time. So less videos, less photos, less time, technically. All right, so once this was done, you guys just have to swipe up, put your passcode, and then just wait for all your apps to download again. That's the boring part, just let it be. It might ask you for some passwords for your emails, but if you guys kept everything under your password keychain, then you're good to go. You guys can just input all that information back in again. But other than that, everything should come back as it was. As your computer goes, you're good to go. Everything should be working now just fine. So right now, instead of getting that message that it can't, you have to restore your phone all the time and it's annoying, you guys will see this. This is the normal screen. So that's for your phone right here. That's for your normal screen. So you might not even see a pop-up anymore. You shouldn't see a pop-up anymore. Uh, only if you click your locations, your phone, whatever that name is. Right here, you guys will see that everything's back to normal. This is a normal screen. No more error codes. You're good to go. I know this fix will annoy a lot of people because nobody wants to factory set their phones just to fix an issue. But when it's a big issue like this, we have no other choice. But anyways, as far as this video goes, we are all done. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.